<laughs> Welcome back to Wake Up WA. We love the little cuddly <laughs> bunny toys. rabbit. The toys are... Yes. yes. Anyway, joining us in the studio right now is they look fantastic. You haven't seen them yet, but they're dressed up in fantastic costumes. We have Linda Burke and... Le yes, Jason's very jealous, especially of the white gown you're about to see. And Leslie Hug. They're in to tell us about the Moondyne Festival in 2J and they are dressed in character to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show. Now, first of all, what we've got Leslie and, and um, Linda. First of all, what is the Moondyne Festival? Can you tell us a little bit about Moondyne Joe? Yeah, Moondyne Joe was um, an infamous um, bushranger, really, an escapee. Yes, yes. So that's basically what the festival was about, reenacting his life. Okay. Yes. Why in 2J? <laughs> uh, he hung out in the hills in 2J. <laughs> yep. He had his bush camp up there with all his buddies. Yep. They hung out in the hills. There's lots of caves and good places to hide. He was also jailed in 2J uh, and escaped, we might add. Now, just for the sake of the kiddies at home, because obviously we don't uh, normally like to promote um, outlaws, <laughs> we've had a few <laughs> infamous ones over the years in Australia. Why Moondyne Joe? Why has he been celebrated as a bush ranger? What's his particular uh, attractiveness? His larrikin behaviour mm. and, and the fact that he could escape from anything. The governor in the day actually built a cell in Fremantle Jail purposely for Moondyne Joe and told him that if he could escape from that cell that he would be pardoned. Um, so he loved the challenge, he rose to the occasion, they, they jailed him and he escaped. Um, then he stole a horse <laughs> and he was captured again and tried. Oh, so he went back on his word? Yeah, mm, he was a little notorious for that. He often found things before they were lost. Oh, I see. No, I mean, I mean the, the governor reneging on his pardon. Oh, no, he was pardoned, but then he stole a horse. Oh, okay. And so he I went see. again. <laughs> but, yeah, that was kind he of his might have liked character. his custom cell. Yeah. The horse happened to wander, yeah. wander into his um, plot, so oh. he decided to have it. So he didn't actually do anything as far as shooting people or um, with guns or anything like that. He's he a nice more, bush ranger. He was yes, a lovely yes. bush ranger. But I think the fact that he kept escaping and petty theft and things like that. Yeah. He had to survive somehow though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Lizzie, what sort of time frame were you looking at? When was Moondyne mm. Joe hanging out in 2J? Oh, well, 2J was founded in 1836, wasn't he? Mm. So, so yes, it would have been around, around that era. Yes, so he was going there. back a bit? Yes, 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 and to the 1900s, I suppose. So on the actual day, when people rock up, um, does everyone get dressed up or is that sort of like you're open to or is that just the people who are actually presenting the day? How do, how, what actually happens in 2J on, on, uh, for the Moondyne Festival? Okay. Lots and lots of people get dressed up. We encourage everybody in the town uh, to come in costume. We've got a whole street theatre group that get involved. We have uh, other bush rangers. You know, Joe's got a gang. We have a great undertaker who gets right into costume and comes up behind you and measures you and <laughs> does all that good stuff, you know, for you uh, in case Joe or one of his gang gets you that day. Um, we've got floozies now. Every town, every floozies. old town had... Yeah, floozies. What's a floozie? A ladies of ill repute. Ladies Ill of repute. the night, yes. yes. Oh. I must tell you that they also, you know, they try to kind of sell their wares up and down the street on the day. Oh. We were going to bring one this morning, but we thought better of it. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I specifically requested Of course, the <laughs> temperance ladies that are dressed up are quite oh, yes. opposed to yes. the floozy, so it, it's a very good day. Lots and lots. We have a, a trial of Moondyne, Joe. We have a judge and a jury and we have policemen, old coppers on the day. Um, so, that, you know, there's a whole focus on uh, that celebration of that time. Who are you today, Linda? I am the Lady Mayoress of the oh. town of Newcastle. Oh. As 2J was no one we, in the Sorry, my lady, we didn't know we had Rolfie here. Well, and you do. <laughs> and Leslie? Um, I'm actually the town crier oh. of 2 She's a lot louder. Don't be sad. I'm not sad. Oh, <laughs> not that kind of No, not the oh. cry, not the cry, oh, sad, okay, no. Yelling out. The town crier is basically, um, I have permission to make a big noise and yell. In the okay. of the street. I, I think um, you've, you've got such a quiet little mm. voice while you're talking, but give us mm. an example about how the uh, how the town cry lets everyone know what's going on. Are you sure you want me yeah, to do this? Yeah, go on. It's Block your ears at home, Okay, please. we um, ring the bell three times. I won't put it to full bore, but we do the one, two, three. Oh, yay! Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Projection. <laughs> <laughs> we can't project. <laughs> now, this festival is in two gen out. For people that don't know where 2J is, how do they get there and where... That was fantastic, though. How do they get there and where do they go? 
they come off the Row Highway at Midland, go up the 2J Road and keep going. And we actually put barriers up so you can't go any further, we stop you. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're real room up. 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 We're, in, we're in. part of the gang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's 45 minutes up the road, so it's just it's so easy to get to. This might be a good one. What, what When's it on? Sunday, next Sunday. Oh, so and we're not Mother's Day. No, well, the Sunday, no, coming. Sunday the 4th. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And as for the weather report, 2J has more Dal Wallen new weather, so just check. <laughs> check the weather report. <laughs> I'll hold this up so no one can forget. Now, my dad used to say to me I'd make a really good village idiot. Do you need one of them? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, there's quite a few in 2J, <laughs> but we're always looking for more. <laughs> a village idiot, Jason. What would you have to look like? To, costumes to, would you have to get into uh, for that? Yeah, pretty much I'd just wear my own clothes. Um, some, now, some folk don't even have to get dressed up. <laughs> <on. laughs> I understand there's somebody opening the festival. Who would that be this year? That's His Excellency, um, Governor of WA, Dr Ken Michael. And his mm. lovely wife will be joining us up there as well. Because this isn't the first time the festival's been on. I've been hearing about this for, for a oh, while. Oh, yeah. 20, 22 years. Yeah, 22 it's been quite years. some time. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just the best thing. I mean, we have this year the events. We've got the Lawrence Scrap Metals Log Chop. So all these big beefy blokes with axes chopping up bits of wood mm. in, uh, in an area. Nice. Um, <laughs> <That's> we, <very laughs> nice. we have blade shearing. We have gold. Don't get excited, Leslie. Um, and gold <laughs> panning, and uh, you know, there's just so many things you could try to reenact. We must tell you that the 1860s regiment comes up and fires their guns off as well, oh. and that always scares the living daylights out of everybody. Nice. We yeah. throw Joe off the roof <laughs> of the balcony. Everyone put the, their uh, dogs cones. out the back and. Oh. There's heaps for kids to do as well. There's also a little um, sideshow alley um, for the children's entertainment and you've got kite making. So there is um, quite a lot for the family to do. It's a fantastic family day. Now, who's, who's Moondye and Jane this year? Oh, no, there's no Jane. No Jane? No, he's, no. Definitely. he's loveless. Oh, yeah. dear. Oh. Poor no, Joe. No love, man. He's, he's got a lot of floozies. The floozies. <laughs> <laughs> the floozies. Oh, he yeah, floozies. Yeah, floozies love Joe. <laughs> no Floosies. doubt. But, and so Moondye and Jane obviously make an appearance on the day? Oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Makes an appearance. He robs the bank. He runs a muck in the street. Um, it could he be is, him. Yeah. I, could, I could do a bit of Moondyne Jones. We have as the well. trials, the reenactment of the trials as well of his um, petty theft. So um, yeah, it's it's I really make a good. good. Very exciting. Yes, yeah, so I think I'd like to be the jailer though. The, the the prisoners didn't get treated all that well back in the day. Look, it sounds like a heck of a lot of fun. So mm. next. Sunday coming, the 4th. Right, the 4th yeah. of May, yes. 10 to 4, 2 J. At 2 J. So it's just the, just the one day, that's six hours, heck of a lot of fun crammed into a short time frame. Yes. Absolutely. We, yeah. do, we do have on Saturday the Antique Collectors Fair in the Memorial Hall, so if people want to come up for the weekend, it's just fabulous. Lovely. There's a lot more information to be found at wakeupwa.com.au. Follow the links or just Google 2J and it'll, it'll be there. Moondyne Festival. Don't miss out on it. It's a once a year opportunity to have a heck of a lot of fun. It is. Thank you for joining us once again. We've got to go to a quick break. We'll be wrapping up the show straight after this.